What's up everyone? It's Andrew from Crafted Coast Tour Company here. On this channel, I do craft beer reviews, beginner homebrew videos, and talk about things to do on the Gold Coast as part of my craft beer tours that I do offer on the Gold Coast. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a review of Bolter's latest limited edition. It's called the Bunker Buster. This is what it looks like. Let's get stuck in the video. There you go, you've just had a little taste of what Corumban is like. That is the suburb on the Gold Coast where Balta are located. Uh, they're located about a two or three minute drive from the beach. It's a fantastic facility and they make some unbelievable beers. Um, all of their special release beers go on the hype train here in Australia. Uh, they become the talk of the town in terms of, you know, all of your craft beer forums and Facebook groups and things like that. Everyone's got something to say about Bolter's beers. So today we're going to have a, a look at what their latest one's all about. It's called the Bunker Buster. Uh, it's because we're all bunkered down uh, for you know the COVID-19 pandemic at the moment. Uh, it's a session ale, which normally uh, Bolter's limited edition beers that they do are typically higher uh, ABV, double IPAs, hazy IPAs, um, stouts, things, things of that nature. So it's uh, a little bit different for them to be doing a session ale as a limited release beer um, but with Bolter I mean you can never guess what they're going to do next so uh, let's have a look at the can for you so it's got this one is actually a 375 ml can as well so normally uh, you know their limited edition cans are in the 500 ml size so once again something a little bit different uh, so let's have a look at the can for you it's got the typical Bolter design Really, I mean, you know, you just see these beers in the bottle shop, you know straight away that it's a bolter. Um, turn it around, see all the all the details and stuff on there for you. Let's talk about what what we've got here. So, it is a session nail. It is one point three standard drinks uh, at if I can find the ABV for you, four point five percent. ABV, I can't see the IBU on there. Uh, let's have a read of the description. Uh, Bunker Buster is all about bringing tastes and mates together. It's part San Diego Pale Ale, part hazy and part dry brute without being exclusively any of those things. Succulent US hops deliver lime, passion fruit and hints of coconut, while rolled wheat adds a lean but creamy base to balance out a zesty bitter finish. Light up your face and with your friends on screen and a tin in hand from us to you with enjoyment. So it's part San Diego pale ale, part hazy and part dry brute with rolled wheat. So it's obviously going to have a bit of haze to it. Let's get a glass and we'll open it up for you. All right, I can smell that already. Been hearing great things about this beer. I'm excited. Sometimes when I do a review, I've actually already had the beer before, but this is my first time trying it. So. All right, fits perfectly in the glass for me. Once again, there's the can. Hold it up. So it is definitely hazy. Um, and I guess that's probably coming from the, the rolled wheat, I guess. I'm not sure what yeast and stuff's been used in it, but it's got about one, one and a half finger off-white uh, head. Once again, 
the bubbles are large and separated. There's carbonation there, you can see the carbonation, but the head looks like it's beginning to dissipate a little bit. Let's have a smell, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tropical fruit punch. Straight away. Yeah, that smells like Golden Circle Sunshine Punch. Tropical fruit juice. What did it say here again? Uh, lime, passion fruit, hints of coconut. While rolled wheat adds a lean but creamy base to balance out a zesty bit of finish. All right. I'm excited to try this. Cheers, guys. Pretty much exactly what it says on the can. Yeah, yeah. I get the little lime, the lime zest. I get that. Um, it's definitely tastes a little bit different to the aroma. Like the aroma straight up is just like fruit juice punched straight in the face. But, and you would expect to have like a, with you know, the beer being as hazy as well, you'd expect it to have that New England IPA, real fruity kind of kick, but it's definitely dialed back. You're getting that, that brute dry coming through. I don't know what Scotty's used to come up with the brute dry finish, whether it's hops or uh, the yeast that's been used in it. And see the lacing sticking to the glass there. Head has dissipated a little bit. Not sure if I fully get the, the coconut, but that might be what's giving it the slightly tropical kind of feel. Lime zest, tropical fruit, more along the lines of, it's not like that mango, passion fruit, grapefruit. It's uh, It's got a little bit of passion fruit, I'd probably say touch more citrus That's what I'm getting out of it and that's obviously with the lime. I don't know what hops we used in it but I mean for a session ale this is a fantastic beer. It's only, what, what do we say, 4.5% ABV so even less than what you'd get in your normal you know draft lager that you get poured at the pub. So yeah, I mean, for the, the flavour in this beer, it tastes like like a hazy IPA, but it's a session ale, so they've done an unreal job with this beer. So, today, when I'm doing this review, it's uh, currently not a cloud in the sky here on the Gold Coast. We're just coming into winter, it's about 20, 21 degrees Celsius. Nice and warm out in the sun. I've got a four-pack in the fridge. I think I'm going to wind the review up by telling you I'm going to go and drink the rest of them in the sun. I think that's a pretty glowing endorsement for how good this beer is. So yeah, that's it for the review today, guys. Nice and simple. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really love it if you checked some of my other videos out. I'll put a link to a playlist up at the end here. Um, I've got a whole bunch of reviews. We're starting to do more of the home brewing videos. Plenty of content for you guys to check out. If you do enjoy it, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button down the bottom for me, like the video, leave us a comment. Um, if you're from a brewery and you've got a beer that you'd love for us to review for you, I'm going to put a link to our email down the bottom. Uh, when things return to normal on the Gold Coast, if you want to come and do a craft beer tour with me here, we've got about seven or eight breweries that we can choose from to put together a package for you. I'll leave the links to the Instagram, email, all that stuff down in the description box below. That's it for the uh, Bolter Bunker Buster review. And cheers, guys. Keep drinking local beer, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.